Well, hey guys, how are you doing? Um, so, Jesus gave me another message today. I actually got to do something fun though. Me and my husband went to a water park today. But when I was climbing up the stairs, that's when um, the spirit came over me and I heard planes falling. Well guys, this is like the third planes falling messages message that he's giving me. Um, so, you know, I think that's definitely coming soon. He said something about being too much uh, wind in the air, combustion chamber or something like that. I don't know, I don't know anything about planes, but I also found something interesting. Somebody emailed me today and they sent me um, a link saying that it might be Jesus's birthday on the 18th. Um, according to the star they found in the sky. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool. Some link someone sent me. I don't know if that's true or not. I just wanted to share it with you because I thought that was neat. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, anyway, I claim that Jesus Christ is um, the son of God. He's God who he came to earth in the flesh and bled on the cross and rose on the third day. He was born of a virgin. Um, and ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people on YouTube. They're trying to scam you for money. Um, the girls keep texting me, so I keep getting distracted. Um, but anyway, so I thought something else was interesting, you know, um, being that if it is his birthday, you know, on the 18th, and then Revelation 12 has like a double meaning with the child being caught up, but the child's also... Um, the Philadelphia church, the people who 100% trust in Jesus. I think that was pretty cool because I noticed some of his prophets have all spoke the same thing, came in the flesh as a man, um, even though we know he came as a baby. But, you know, maybe there's like another, another, I don't know, another meaning. He also gave some more revelation on the six and, and seven for completion, and it's in the message. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read it. It's June 13, 2023. Uh, first, give me First John three eleven. For this is the message that you heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. First John four eight. He do, he who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Second Timothy two nine. For which I suffer trouble as an evil doer, even to the point of chains. But the word of God is not chained. James three five. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. See how great a forest a little fire kindles. Obadiah 111. In the day that you stood on the other side, in the day that strangers carried captive his forces, when foreigners entered his gates and cast lots for Jerusalem, even you were as one of them. Colossians 1.3. We give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. 1 Samuel 2.11, then Elkanah went to his house at Ramah, but the child ministered to the Lord before Eli the priest. I don't know what that means, but you know, he wouldn't let me erase it. So 1 Peter 2.8, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, they stumble being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed. <clears throat> Revelation 16.6, 6, for they have shed the blood of saints and prophets and you have given them blood to drink for it is their just due. John 9, 6, when he had said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And a, uh, Genesis eighteen seven, and Abraham ran to the herd, took a tender and good calf, gave it to a young man, and he hastened to prepare it. Um, <clears throat> Exodus 21, 3, if he comes in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he comes in married, then his wife shall go out with him. 1 Corinthians 2, 6. However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. Okay, and here's the message. My child, planes are going to fall. It will be right around my coming. The wind is going to pick up. You will see trees fall and more lightning strikes. I'm coming, my child. I'm picking up the net. I told you to look at the signs in the heavens. I have some more surprises. The constellation, Leo, look behind it. See, I didn't know this, but apparently Jess or Cassie was saying, or McKenna was saying that it's the crab. The crab's behind it. I don't even have the Stellarium app. 
Okay. <clears throat> I'm revealing all my mysteries to my people who I ordained from the beginning of time. My signs in the heavens. The crab has several meanings. Not just my time, but it correlates with what I am proclaiming clean and unclean is. Circumcision and uncircumcision. This is the end, so I'm revealing it all. Do not come after my anointed ones. You have no idea what you are doing. I have been speaking the entire time, and you are about to see my light show. Are you on the boat yet? Let's talk about six, just short of seven. Well, what does it mean, and how does it convey? I told you seven was my completion. How many days did I warn Noah to get on the boat? But when did the rain start? Did it flood right away? Or were people still trying to get in the ark? Same scenario, different time frame. The people were wicked and I didn't and didn't repent. They didn't believe in me, so they were destroyed. I sent my messenger to warn the people, but they did not listen. They scoffed and mocked. I told you it would be like times of Noah. The same thing is happening, but you still can't see it. I told you seven was the key, but why did I speak 1853? Have you searched the scriptures? Where does my grace come in? <clears throat> Didn't I tell you I wish for not one to perish? So don't you think I would warn you before the door shuts? I'm asking you to get on the boat, children. There is no more time. The beast system is in place and the Antichrist is ready to rise. The documents have already been constructed, but I'm holding it back until my children and my bride is gone. I'm catching them up. Are you in my net? Have you confessed I am Lord? Have you believed in me yet? I'm giving you all a chance to believe in me. You will all see my glory. If you deny me after this, your heart was hardened and you are never going to believe in me. Remember, I already know the outcome and I know the last person who is going to enter the net. Once the net gets caught up, my glory is shown and you have a minute to choose. Choose the wedding feast and supper with the lamb or die for my glory and face the great tribulation. So wow, it looks like he is gonna give us time, you know, as the people go up. That's really, really awesome. I love you children. If you confess I am Lord and believe in me with all of your heart, I will save you. Massachusetts, a lot is coming. More train derails, more contamination of water, and back-to-back -back tornadoes. I will destroy all witchcraft and sorcery, and I will not be mocked. Have you searched the messages? Have you prayed to me for discernment? You may be pleasantly surprised when you see all that comes to pass. I told you to seek heavenly things, not earthly things. I told you to step out of this world and look for my coming. I told you to watch. Are you watching for me? It is the times of Noah and it's wicked like Sodom and Gomorrah, but I have several speaking, dreaming, getting visions from me and words of knowledge. But are you soaking up the knowledge? Are you heeding the warnings? Six is not just short from seven. It's before my completion. It's when you will see my glory, my light show, my countenance. Wake up, O oh sleeper, and keep looking at the moon. It's going to get bigger, brighter, redder. Here comes supernatural times. Time to wake you up, children. See you in the clouds. I love you. Your Lord God and I have spoken. So I'm going to go to part two, but I found something really interesting. The other day on the phone when I was with the girls, I heard the Lord speak 753 to me. And I didn't know why or what it was, okay? Well, what's weird is I just happened to glance at the time of the video and it said 7.53 when I looked up and it was on the line. You may be pleasantly surprised when you see all that comes to pass, I believe is, is what I was reading when, wow, that's really cool. Um, but if you also look at 7.53, seven minutes is eight and eight is Jesus in numbers according to McKenna because she does the number stuff and then if you look at Israel's time 1253 seven minutes 1253 is one and one is also supposed to represent Jesus or the Alpha Omega or is what she was saying 
I don't know anything about numbers, so you guys can check on that. We'll stick around for part two, and I'll do the scriptures the remaining. God bless. Love you.